Hey guys, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei Persona. This is Caffeine Gaming. We're going to be doing some reading today. I apologize uh, in advance that we're going to be doing some reading. Uh, real quick here in the infirmary, if you go to this little box over here, it's a chest. You can get a medicine out of it. Uh, I think that's our first item that we've unlocked. I don't... Can you stop? Um, yeah, it just gives you a little bit of hit points. Um, I'm going to talk to a couple people here. I put a new plant there. What do you think? Livens of the room, doesn't it? They say plants grow better if you talk to them. Give it a try, Yuya. What do you think you're doing anyway? I asked you to prepare for the sports festival. We only have a month left and nothing's ready yet. Should we just cancel it this year? Sports festival, huh? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be wandering about. I'm going to pretty much be ignoring these three as we do so. Because they pretty much says they don't say anything. Uh, it seems we have no choice in the matter. Best to get it over with. Sometimes they do, but very rarely. I know I couldn't be cooped up for cooped up in the hospital for an entire year. Let's go cheer her up. Mikeji Hospital, huh? That's kind of a long walk from school. It's way to the northeast. You leave the school, head north, and go all the way to the third ward, then take a right at the Mikeji ruins. And if we just wander around, we'll get there sooner or later. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be walking around the school a little bit. So here's the mini map, first of all. If you press on the square button, it'll bring this up. Uh, and we are officially in first person view. I don't know, you know, some of you guys might be a little younger <laughs> in the in the audience. You may not recognize this style, but this was a thing at the time. Stooping, oh, I don't, yes. I actually wanna talk to these two. Wow, these flowers are beautiful. So it's true about the principal, huh? There are plenty of games that are actually like this from this time. Looks like the principal isn't here. She's probably at the courtyard again. So we're gonna be exploring the school a little bit. I'm gonna talk to the majority of people. So just uh, buckle up. Oh, it's you, Yuya. Hey, I hear someone keeps coming in and out of the open room on the second floor. Are you the one doing it? Hmm? Okay, so you wanna talk to this teacher because it's going to unlock a character that we can get. As you can see here, we have four characters in our party right now and we can get a fifth if we talk to this guy uh it starts there's like a line of things you have to do so just a heads up yeah hidehiko took off so me and eriko explained everything to the teach man hidehiko sure works fast at times like these i told him to seiko about what happened brown seems to have already gone home and i don't think ayase could explain it coherently do you uh, probably not. I don't think you guys have anything interesting to say. Pretty much your party members are boring. <laughs> Alright. Um, you can move side to side, by the way. Uh, very useful in dungeons. I'm gonna try not to do that if I can remember. Because it kind of is weird to see on screen. Um, can you go around the stuff? Thank you. I guess I have to talk to him. <laughs> Why is everyone so pissed at Sebek? It's just a regular company. It's really, really not. The Sebek curse is a load of crap. I bet they're making biological weapons. Oh, that's not creepy or anything. I think, does Manjo say anything about this? I can't discount it. Kandori is a man who wouldn't hesitate to do such things. Yeah, pretty much every room you go into, one of your guys will be like, we should go into the hospital. Everybody else will say something, but for the most part, they're just commenting on what the people talking about, so. Did you hear any of those weird rumors about the Sebek company? Some people have heard moaning and seen red eyes peering through windows. It's supposed to be cursed since they leveled the haunted mansion to build it. What? Who does that? Ugh. The haunted mansion, man, that takes me back. I used to go there to play a lot, and that old bat, I mean, my mom got mad at me. Yeah, they tore down that place and put up the Sebek building last year. Uh, kind of relevant. Pretty much everything people are going to be talking about has something to do with the story, but it may not be relevant until much, much later, so... Just a heads up. Um, there's a guy named Reiji in your class, right? No matter how much I hang around your homeroom at break or after school, I never see him. How am I supposed to strike up a conversation? That romantic era of mystery he has. Ooh, but yeah. Ah, okay, so we've got a little bit more information about another character that we haven't quite met yet. Reiji Kido, huh? He keeps to himself. I feel as though he does so deliberately. She just talks about going to the hospital. I'm trying to talk to the desk. Oh, there we go. That girl supposedly got a thing for Reiji. Not that I'm jealous or anything. Um, I don't know if we'll meet him or not. I guess we'll find out today. Alright, so I think... If you press O, you can walk really fast. Let's go down here real quick. Let's talk to this guy. Who told you kids that you could go through here? If you want to get outside, the school gates are there for a reason. 
Our school swarming with degenerates like you. Oishi is far too lenient. Now get out of here. I'm gonna call a specialist to have this blocked off. Right, so there's a hole in the fence back there. I think you guys can see it. Known as Hamya among the students who despise his extreme strictness. Yeah. That's a that's a joke. What's the matter? Are the school gates closed? Yeah, no, they're not. Ugh, it's Hamya. I hate that guy. Cheese it, Yuya. Really? Isn't there one decent teacher here besides Miss Seiko and the principal? <laughs> no, all of our teachers are jerks, apparently. I think... Oh, there's some rooms over here. That's... Oh, wait, what? The door is locked. Could that girl have been an illusion? No, I don't think so. Uh, let's talk to this guy here. Gambling is a man's hobby, and bunny girls are a must for every casino. Really? Slots, blackjack, code breaker. I can't wait until I'm old enough to go. Um, really nothing interesting here. There is a casino in game, and we'll probably be visiting that at some point in time. That door is just locked. Uh, let me go ahead and get this on the map at least. Oh, she's gonna yell at us to get to the hospital, but now we can look at the map here and you can see the rooms that we've gone in and haven't gone in. And uh, you can actually see where, like right next to where I'm currently at, in the middle of the screen, there is a pink tree and a little cross that means hospital. So in case you're interested, your mini map should show everything. So yeah, that's all. Um, isn't it time you gave up on Yosuke? He's obviously ran, he, he obviously ran off with his girlfriend. Come on, it's been two months already. That's a lie, that Shisato bitch tricked him. Everyone knows that girl's bad news. Bad news? Bad news. <laughs> I, I can English. Yosuke was popular with the girls, but no one's seen him in two months. Wasn't Yosuke best friends with Maki? If you're visiting her, ask her about it. Alright, so basically, I don't know who says what about this. Yosuke's handsome and a nice guy. I hate to admit it, but he's hard to beat. It's true that not even I think Shisato has an exceptionally attractive personality. It seemed as if she was dating Yosuke to show off as much as anything. And, uh, I actually do want to talk to her. I was surprised too when Shisato started dating Yosuke. It was so sudden, Shisato never acted like she cared about him before. Actually, I always thought that my- Hey, shouldn't we get going? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, like I said, more information that's relevant. Let's, uh, talk to this kid here. I had a weird dream. There was this girl and she was saying, help me. Was it a vision? Is there really a girl waiting for me to rescue her? Wow, that's awesome! Kenta Yokochi? Nicknamed Toro. His love of food has made him physically strong but emotionally fragile. Um, I really don't have much to say about that guy there. Dude, guess what I saw? Toro asked Ayase out and got rejected on the spot. I hear he's still following her around though. Toro's got balls, man. I mean, asking out Ayase? Dude, I wouldn't go after her in a million years. Uh, heads up here, as I'm starting this game, uh, there is no social link, so you can't date anyone. Just heads up on that. Don't you think derelict buildings should be torn down? Okay, so here's another character you need to talk to in Classroom 2-1 in order to get the bonus extra character that you couldn't get otherwise. Places like that only attract hooligans. Haha, <laughs> hooligans! Seriously? What a point of Dexter. Point, point Dexter? Point Dexter? I don't know. Won't you pipe down, as I was saying, wouldn't it attract hooligans? I'd certainly hate to see that happen. Okay, you want to talk to this guy? You don't have to talk to Mark, but... Hey, you, yeah, you gotta hear this stupid junk this guy is spouting. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Let's see here, let's talk to this chick here. I had a weird dream, it's really been bothering me. You want to hear about it? Sure. It takes place in a blue room. I can hear a piano and singing and there's an odd old man sitting down. What do you think that means? A blue room. You know, I feel like I had a dream like that too. Interesting. Alright, this one's locked. Um, Yuya, you're going to the hospital, right? Yuko Himino, Maki's friend. She works part-time to support her family. Um, I hate to ask, but could you tell Maki I'll give back that book next time I go visit her? Uh, sure. Um, thanks. I, I'm sorry to ask you to go out of your way like that. It was a really good book, so I wanted to read it again before I returned it. That good, huh? What's it called? Um, Gate to Paradise. Well, that's deep. I didn't know Maki was into that kind of thing. I don't know how... <sighs> if you simply enjoyed it that much, why not simply buy your own copy? Well, it's kind of expensive, and my brothers and sisters need new clothes. 
Nanjo, you moron. Don't you know she works part time to help her family out? All right, well, we'll be, we gotta get going, but we'll be sure to pass on your message. Yeah, so she, um, her family's a little poor, so she works part time to, you know, make sure that they have the stuff that they need, which is uh, actually kind of nice of her to do that. Okay. Other side of the building. What are you sad about? Are you guys going to the hospital on the northeast corner of town? It's a pretty long walk. Good luck with that. Oh, okay. Hey, where's Yasi? Wasn't she with you? She promised to go out, but she totally ditched. I'm thinking I might just like go on ahead on my own. It's really weird though. She seemed totally into it. I also gets like this sometimes. She acts all like cynical and stuff. I don't understand that girl. Does this woman never stop running her mouth? Truth! Let's get out of here. Uh, okay, so this one's locked. This is the room we need to go into. Oh, different music. Somebody's here. Huh? Reiji? You're Reiji Kijo. What are you doing here? Kijo. Kido. Reiji Kido, nicknamed Reiji, a quiet loner who transferred to St. Hermelin High six months ago. Hmm. The standoffish sword, I see. Look who's talking. Alright, let's talk to people. Reiji transferred here soon after the Sebek building was constructed. Oh, but we still need to get to the hospital. Yeah, I don't care about that right now. What a gloomy gust, but hey, for all we know, maybe he's the kind of guy who secretly practices magic tricks at home. I wonder what he was pondering at a place like this. I'm sure we will never know. All right, let's go to the third floor. We got some stuff on the third floor. Uh, I know there's a lot of text and stuff here, but all of this stuff is pretty, um, I don't know, relevant in a way. So I wanna make sure we, uh, yeah. Huh, there's other trees like that one in the infirmary. The police station's straight north from here, right? I saw a beautiful tree in the forest east of the station. It looked exactly like the one nurse Natsumi put in the infirmary. I feel at peace when I look at that tree. It's the strangest thing. Yeah, so apparently there is more than just one tree, which is good because it means there's more than one save point in this game. Hmm? Oh, all the way on the other side. I don't want to go to cram school, I just want to stay home and sleep. You can't, you need to study. Let's go together, okay? Why don't we meet at the subway entrance? The subway, that's north through the Sun Mall and all the way to the right, yeah? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hint, hint. It's kind of giving us some directions. Um, okay, there we go. You're supposed to be able to see your future self when you play Persona. I wonder if I should try it. Will I be in college this time next year? Oh, give me a break. If you had time to play that Persona game, you'd have time to study. Moron, you promised me we go to the same college together. All right, nobody has really anything to say except for Nanjo, I think is like full of himself. I'm gonna get perfect grades and good 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 essentially. We could really use more members. Maki's sick and chisato has gone missing. Do you know those two? Uh, yeah. Well, Maki's piece are, pieces are incredible. She's won several awards for them. Her friend Chisato isn't very good, but she's had better luck with men. How are those even related? I've seen one of Maki's paintings. She won an award for her gate to paradise. We're gonna talk about that later. The painting I saw of Maki's had a strong, raw sense of emotion to it. Yeah, apparently Maki's really good at art, so. What's this? I think this is the, so oh, there's nothing in here. I'm just gonna ignore that. This is the student council room and they're all pretty boring. <laughs> nothing relevant either. They call him Devil Boy, but the stuff he'll tell you is a load of crap. I know much more about the occult, though I can never tell the uninitiated. The way I see it, there must be demons who get along well and those who don't. If demons who hated each other met up, I'm sure it would be disastrous. Nah. You see that guy over there, the one they call Devil Boy? He tripped and fell over again during PE. It was freaking hilarious. He can't even do a single push-up. What a lamer. Well, that's mean. Oh, it's you, Narumi. Hee hee hee, I'm investigating the seven mysteries of St. Hermelin High. Want to know what I've learned? Hee hee hee, maybe some other time. Alright, so his name is Tatsumu... Tatsu? I don't even know. Uh, Kuro... Kuro -ri? I don't know, but his nickname is Devil Boy, so I can say that. He's an expert in the occult, but frequently has incorrect information. The hardest thing about Japanese and learning Japanese for me is that sometimes um, yous are silent, 
and I have a hard time with the little, like, when they put vowels together. I can never seem to get it right, and I don't know why. Nurse Natsumi is hot as hell. I love that mature air she has. Oh, really? Then why don't you pack your lunches from now on? Or have her pack your lunches from now on? Er, please, not that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, there we go. That reminds me, I heard not Nurse Natsumi just had a breakup. I wonder why. I don't know. Even if she's a bad cook, you could just live off convenience store food. Well, that's... Actually, Japan convenience store food is probably better than what it is here in America. Guys are age tend to go for older women. That's weird. Oh, I don't care about that. What do you have to say about this? I'm not interested in any of this sort of foolishness. Oh, Nanjo. No, no interest there. Okay, this one's locked. Wait, dodge, dodge, dodge! I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get a snack. It, it'll be easy if I use a secret shortcut. You should give it a try too. Like, no way am I gonna walk by the Sebek building at night. That company's been cursed ever since they tore down the Haunted Mansion. All right, nothing of interest. They're talking about the hole in the wall. And is this the last one? This is the last room, and it's locked. Okay, I think we've explored um, pretty much every place except for the courtyard, so we're gonna do that. Let's see, I need to go. It's gonna be the easiest way to get there. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I get lost sometimes. It's really easy. Oh, I talked about not doing this. I'm actually like walking around like a normal person. Can't do that. Miss Oishi is so kind. She loves flowers so much. She cares for them as if she if they were her children. The principal's a cool lady, but she can be a little too lovey-dovey. This megalith shard is a very precious cultural artifact. Who built it? For what purpose? It never ceases to fascinate me. Oh, hello, Yuya. Are you taking a walk, too? It's been part of my daily routine ever since I was a girl. Praying to the guardian deity that everyone grows up into fine adults. Principal Oishi. The principal of St. Hermel and High. She adores children and flowers. This megalith was excavated when the school was first built in 1963. It's made of thamatite, tham I guess, and possesses an abnormal magnetism. Legend has it that a heavenly being known as, let's see, Her Hurimon, I'm guessing, dropped it from the sky to be Mikei Cho's guardian stone. I don't know. Anyway, let's turn around, or let's go, oh, we don't need to turn around. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. That's what those little um, running men on the map mean. You're so slow, you must seize the moment, like myself. There's a reason it said that one's youth passes quickly. That Nanjo pisses me off so bad, I'll find a chink in his armor someday. Masao and Kai, Kai? I think it's Kai. Um, maybe it's Ki. I don't even know. Are such children. I'm gonna call him Nanjo. I think it's he, uh oh, young master. Yamoka, the Nanjo family's butler. He's taken care of Nanjo since the heir was an infant. Yamoka? Oh my, Master Ki is leaving the premises with a crowd of friends. I'm I'm so happy to see this. Master Ki? Yamoka! I've told you time and again never to call me that, you dummy. Did you just call him dummy? <laughs> no, I... Ah, oh, be silent, Maso. Look, Yamoka, I don't need a ride today. Just go back without me. Oh my, will you be going out on the town with your chums, young master? Chums? I'm only going to the hospital and stop calling me that! The hospital, heavens. I do hope you haven't hurt yourself, young master. <laughs> Enough. Let's be on our way, Yuya. Yamoka, do not follow us. Okay, so we are definitely not going to be going anywhere. So first of all, there's, if you follow the road, you can see you can follow the roads here. Um, if you go that way or to the left here, you'll go out of town, which no, you can't do. As you get closer, you can actually see like the different buildings and stuff. So let's just visit a couple of them. What do you children want? You better not be here to steal my treasure. Katsue Kanida, a resident of Mikeji Cho, who seems to be living the high life lately. What nonsense. To my eyes, this woman's this old woman's so-called treasure is little more than rubbish. She purports to be an antique collector, but she'll buy anything that's priced high enough. What could be more absurd? That old biddy treats everyone like a thief. Just ignore her. 
Can we leave yet, Yuya? I'm sick of taking her crap. I'm chilling like you can't grasp my treasure's true worth. Now get out of my sight. All right. Let's go ahead and head over to the shrine here. And go into the shrine, thank you. The history of Valea Shrine. It says the god dwelling within people's souls and souls is enshrined here. All right, well, that's interesting. I'm sure we won't go back there. Himino residence here. This is uh, the girl that works part-time. She lives here. Is no one home? Hmm, what an extraordinarily small house. Well, yeah, any place would look small next to yours. Tch, this is why I can't stand rich dudes like you. I think this is where Yuko Himi Himino lives. You know, Maki's friend. I work part-time for myself, but she's doing it for her family. Man, talk about a sob story. Yo, Nanjo, why don't you work part-time to pay for Yamoka's salary yourself? I, I don't know what that comment even means. Anyway, let's go up north here. Oh my gosh. One of the biggest things is I'm actually like legit trying to turn and it's kind of a pain. Oh my god. We're gonna go into Yin and Yan. Oh, you're early, Yukino. Does, doesn't your shift start later? Do you need something? Something's come up, so I'll be in late. I'll work overtime to make it up. Okay, you're a real good go-getter, you know that? I guess you have a reason to work. I want to study photography abroad, so I gotta save up. I can't fathom Yukino wearing that uniform and smiling at customers. Funny, I can't think of you smiling either. Yukino really does have a part-time job. Uh, why? Oh, because she's gonna be studying photography abroad. Okay, let's go ahead. I wanna show off. Uh, Yin and Yang is like a convenience store and they sell convenience items and we can go ahead and buy stuff now. We have 5,000 uh, yen, but we don't need anything right now. I just wanna show off some other stuff. It's pretty normal for Persona games. Uh, so you've got healing items for your HP, SP, um, revival beads which revive bomb of life, which revive at full HP. Um, pretty much everything is the same, so nothing really of interest that we care about right now. Items are pretty common, so I won't be buying a whole hell of a lot, but some sometimes I will. All right, so the last place we're gonna visit today is gonna be the Mikeji Sun Mall here. And uh, this is a safe point, I'll get back to that later. Let's, let's start here. So this is the Senin Manindo, and um, if you go up here, one bite of Senin Manindo's sweets extends your life by a thousand years. A second bite gives you 10,000 years. Would you like one? So here, also kind of like a convenience store, but not. Uh, this guy sells um, different drinks and stuff. It's all kind of the same. So you've got this one cures ailments. Uh, not as useful at the beginning of the game as it is towards the end of the game. Level decrease, we'll be talking a lot about that later. Um, damage floors, not really as big of a problem as it makes it out to be. Um, clean salt wards off foes, everything else is pretty much the same, so whatever. Just a different store. I wonder if kids still come to places like this nowadays. I used to come here every day to play the raffle. Really. I missed. Coming here once in a while is fine. Oh, I don't care about that. I've never eaten sweets before. Yamoka wouldn't allow it. Oh my god, Nanjo. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the Peace Diner here. This is, uh, this is a diner. <laughs> I think life in Shibuya would be rather noisy. This girl evidently has no idea. I can't wait to live on my own. I'm thinking I'll get a place by Shibuya. Sounds awesome. Uh, I can't wait to dish this boring place. Uh, Shibuya's in Tokyo, so just heads up. I wish I could leave my crappy home. I'm too embarrassed to have friends over. The girl's a friend of Yuka's. They're a lot alike. Neither ever shuts up. Welcome to Peace Diner, where we always give you double meat. Hey, now's not the time to chow down on fast food. I don't remember ever being able to actually buy anything from the Peace Diner. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we've got this, oh, velvet room. It's, it's quite literally in giant letters, and it's closed. And then we've got Judgment, 1999. Uh, this is the casino. So, hey, do you all go to Sir St. Hermelin? Then you must know that girl. She has long hair and a knockout figure. I think her name is Sally or Mary. Whatever it is, she's gorgeous. Come on, next time she's here, introduce us. Do what you, oh, I don't care about that. 
At least pretty well known, huh? But then again, it's not that surprising. She's pretty awesome. Okay, so that guy must be talking about Ellie. I wasn't aware you were a gambler. Looks, looks can evidently be deceiving. Um, yeah, we can gamble. It's not necessary because I've been beat the game without gambling at all. Aw, oh, come on, I lost all my coins again. I pumped in lots of coins, so whoever wins next will hit a big. Hey, are you up next? Ugh, this isn't fair. I really don't have anything to say about any of this. Um, all right, let's head out of here. Um, all right, so we've got this place. Let's go ahead and head on inside. Huh? Mossy! Oh crap, it's my mom. Hey Mossy, you came just in time. I'm doing some shopping, but the load's piling up. Help me out, Mossy. Hmm, this Mossy is you, is it? <laughs> is it Maso Inaba? Quit it, you old bat. I'm busy, leave me alone. Mossy, you'd call your old mother an old bat? And just when I was thinking of buying you some t-shirts. Mossy? That's about as embarrassing as young master. No one asked you, Yukino. Oh, are these your friends? Mine, the store is expensive. Look at this one, Mossy. What do I want with that? Come on, Yuya, let's go. Honestly, that boy. I hope you'll all stand by my Mossy, won't you? Um, I don't think we can go in there right now, but uh, yeah. All right, last place here is the Satomi Tad. Tadashi? I don't know. Paralyzed, then Dispara does the trick. Ugh, this one song, this song won't leave my brain. Don't tell me you're buying painkillers. We gotta go to the hospital. That lady sure seems to like getting into other people's business. This lady? Hey, I don't- Hey, don't you think it's weird too? I mean that Kanata. In the place, in the space of only a year, she stuck it rich somehow. It's suspicious if you ask me. Very suspicious. Okay. Oh, you go to St. Hermelin? Do you know my son, Tadashi? He's a hopeless slacker, but he's fallen in love with a real cutie. I'd be all, I'd be over the moon if a girl like that married my boy. Hmm, oh right, medicine, coming right up. <sighs> the song, yes. Um, so, this is a medicine store, so you can buy medicine, you can buy beads right off the bat. Uh, you got dis stone, dis para, dis poison, and dis sick. Sick is new, is not new, but it's a it's another status effect that we can get. Um, these are all pretty common. Um, I don't really care too much about any of these. Uh, we'll probably have to pick up some. You know what? I'm trying to think of the last time I actually got stoned in this game, and I honestly can't remember a time where I needed to use a disc stone. Um, more than often, I need disc six, not the disc stones, but we'll be picking them up too, so I'm not really gonna worry too much about it. Um, save your money. Save your money for other things that we can't currently get right now. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna be doing today, now that I've showed off these places. We don't have a lot of other places we can go right now. We've got some stuff up to the north. Um, you can't... I don't know, there's not a lot of other places you can like really go in here. So there's gonna be a few things I'm gonna show off and then we're gonna finally get to the hospital and hopefully everything will be fine. Now one of the things real quick here before I... like the reason I'm reading all this stuff now once things start happening, the text for most people will start to change and cycle. So if you are not really interested in that, I'm sorry, but most of the, like I said, most of the text will change. So if you don't get the story as it goes, the game will change it. It's actually something I really like about this game. Uh, just a personal opinion, how people do actually respond to the circumstances that happen and there's a variety of other things that are going to happen very quickly once we get to the hospital. It's going to be like the first like trigger of the game. So I hope to see you guys next time uh, when we, uh, I don't know, hopefully we'll get to the hospital next time.